Compass FM. Being a Tuesday, of course, Senior Constable Tony Moore from the Waimakariri Police joins us around this time, and indeed, he is here in the studio. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, John. We'll get through the news and weather, as we like to call it, and then we'll have a look at some winter driving and also um, a survey regarding rural crime that Tony mm. would like to talk about. But uh, what's been happening over the last week, Tony? Thanks, John. Yeah, well, we had a uh, tandem trailer was stolen from a commercial yard in Woodend um, 20 to 21st of April overnight. Uh, now, that uh, um, trailer would have been uh, taken out through Fuller's Road. So just wondering if anyone saw um, any suspicious activity on overnight 20, 21 April. Uh, we had a uh, burglary to a, a dwelling's garage in Ahoka Road where some tools were stolen. Um, we also had tools stolen from a ute canopy um, in uh, Woodend. Now, um, uh, my ute, for instance, has a um, has a, a little alarm sensor in it, which um, if you open up the doors when the vehicle's locked, it sets the alarm off. So they're quite a cheap little thing and we encourage anyone that's got one of those canopies to consider putting a, um, a, a an alarm sensor in the in the back of that. It's just a good initiative. Uh, we had a vacant house in Harden was entered and um, the only thing that was stolen was some petrol vouchers. Um, we had a uh, yellow Mitsubishi Libero and uh, for people who know cars, it's like the station wagon Evo, uh, was stolen from Amberley um, overnight, 20, 21, 22 April. And uh, two portable traffic lights on trailers were stolen from Carboy's Cars Road area um, over that same night as well. And also a, a silver Ford Courier was stolen from uh, Cam Road in Kaiapoi on the 27th of April. And uh, we had uh, one vehicle was entered where uh, cards were stolen from the wallet. Uh, that vehicle was locked. The offenders have smashed a window to get into it. But those cards were used at several locations um, around the uh, the local area. So oh. we're following a line of inquiry with that. Pretty typical sort of a week there, Tony. It is. Uh, winter driving, of course. We're mm. Well, here we are. Pretty chilly today. Day, although there is uh, some respite on the way, I think, before we get into winter proper, I'm happy to say. Mm. Just having driven to Dunedin and back over the weekend, being a busy holiday weekend, I have to say people behaving pretty well on the roads, actually, Tony. Didn't see anyone uh, speeding too much, people uh, passing uh, courteously, shall we say. Few people running those amber lights, though, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a concern, and I um, I see the Christchurch uh, City Council are uh, bringing back their uh, red light cameras, uh, which is, a uh, you know, obviously when things get out of hand. Um, but I've also also noticed in the in the Waimakariri, um, people uh, not uh, stopping when they should do on an amber light, mm-hmm. and uh, and continuing on through the intersection. Now um, there's obviously in a lot of occasions where people are waiting to to make a turn in that intersection, and if they're going to be running the amber lights, well, this poor person will be stuck in the middle stuck of the intersection. In the with the, so be yeah, a little bit more considerate yeah. for uh, your fellow drivers. Treat them as if you're your friends, and uh, and just drive courteously. Yeah, absolutely. But as I say, on the whole, for a holiday weekend, yep. it wasn't too bad out there. Yep. Um, um, Tony, winter driving though, conditions wise, you know, we're, we're up obviously here in, uh, in North Canterbury, we've got the mm. high country, we've got snow, we've got uh, we've got ice on the roads, black ice, that sort of thing. Yep. Uh, that season's just about upon us. It is, so drive to the conditions, John, that's really what we um, what we try to encourage people to do. Yep. And the two second rule, can we just quickly have a look at that and remind yep. people about that please? Yep, so if you're following a vehicle um, you should um, count two seconds before you um, um, distance, two seconds distance and that, um, that's regardless of whatever speed you're travelling at. Um, if you see that vehicle in front go past something like a power pole, count two seconds um, and don't count fast. Yeah, I think it's meant to be 2001, 2002, Two, isn't it? And yeah. that's the end, yeah. 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 So, and that will give you your safe following distance yeah. as a general rule. But yeah. uh, some people, I think, are counting a little bit too fast. <laughs> fast counters out there, yes. that is for sure. I had one of them behind me on the, uh, on the Southern Motorway coming into Christchurch uh, yesterday. Mm. So, uh, Tony, yeah, it's uh, certainly, you know, an opportune time to uh, just remind people that, uh, you know, winter conditions can be very hazardous uh, yep. driving here in North Canterbury. Um, now, this rural crime survey, I believe it's a local initiative, but it's actually mm. been taken up on a national basis. Is that right? Yes, it has, which um, which is encouraging. Um, so locally, um, I was a little bit concerned about um, about rural crime, in particular fuel thefts, and I, um, I did a bit of a study on that, and it's been picked up by the National Crime Prevention Prevention Centre, and as a result of a lot of work in the in the background, we've um, in conjunction with Federated Farmers um, are running a national survey on 
uh, rural crime and uh, we're encouraging anyone on a uh, lifestyle block um, up to um, to the big stations um, to jump on the uh, Federated Farmers uh, website and under activities you'll find a link called Rural Crime and we're just encouraging all farmers to uh, to do that survey because we need to try and get our heads around where we're at in that rural space. Are we, um, um, are we delivering the best service possible to uh, farmers around rural crime? And uh, what we suspect is there's possibility a, a large amount of crime is being underreported. And uh, and as I've often mentioned on this show, um, if it's not happening, we don't know about it. You know, or if it's happening and we don't we don't know about it, then you know it's not happening if you like. So um, so squeaky wheel gets the oil scenario. Mm-hmm. So we just want to know exactly what's happening in that rural space. So um, so jump on the Federated Farmers um, website and look for that uh, rural crime link and uh, and fill out the survey. And then if we um, once we analyse those results, um, you know we will hopefully put ourselves in a better position to be able to help the rural sector. Yeah, and it's all about the jigsaw really, isn't it? So if something's happened on your property and you haven't reported it, that could be one of the pieces, the vital pieces in the jigsaw. Yep, true. And it's covering all sorts of crime as well. It's um, also stock theft and uh, and poaching. You know, these are things that we also need to know about. But uh, but we just, yeah, we need need to encourage people to report um, all crime really, just so we've uh, we've got a picture of what's happening. Good to know that that is a local initiative that's been taken up across the country. Compliments Mm. of the Waimakariri Police. Compass FM.